I had a guy accusing me of the same thing. This is on a completely different thing. This had to do on, I think, Aurora Kismet. Aurora Kismet, her channel, where she was doing a thing about, look, it doesn't matter what religion you are, but think about the children. You know, I mean, it's, it's a heartfelt message, you know, that, um, that you might be Islamic or, or Muslim or, or Jewish, but the violence, the children had no choice in this matter, you know. And there's some anti-Islamist nut job leaving comments on Aurora Kismet's channel. And I got into an argument with him. And I would say something and he would respond to me, he goes, you didn't answer the question. And then I'd go look, look back at what he said. I didn't see anything in the form of a question. You know, he was telling me what I think. He was basically, in a text sort of way, shouting at me, telling me what I believe. It wasn't in the form of a question. There wasn't even a question mark anywhere in what he said. And yet he accuses me of not answering the question. The other thing, the other device that people use in arguments is, is when they use an analogy. And uh, if somebody gives me, uh, you know, or a parable, and uh, they won't follow the rules of the parable or the analogy. Well, I did play a little fast and loose. Somebody tried to give me a car analogy about being stuck in a ditch. I'll say who it was. Hux Infantry. Yeah, he's the one who got me kind of wound up this afternoon. I like the guy. But, uh, man, I sure needed to get something to eat. And there I was. I couldn't tear myself away from the computer. I kept, every time I would say something, I'd look at my email and there was a response. So I'd go back and that's, that's why I'm kind of not really up to par for Fez Night. You know, hey. I do feel good about sending out some Fezes. Oh, the analogy. Yeah, talking about a car stuck in a ditch, and he goes this whole thing about there's two wheels stuck, and there's two wheels not, and you kind of steer your wheel out, and you chop up the tires. But I thought, what better, if you're going to talk about a car, I want to talk about who's driving the damn car. Who drove that car into the ditch? It was the Bushies, okay? The conservatives. Who's going to drive it out? The liberals. Barack Obama and the Democrats. I thought that was fair. I thought I was being damn clever. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, enough of that. Yeah, you know, I'll mention I haven't spoken with the woman who should not be named. And it's been for almost a week. She called me once. Basically trying to get me to, uh, to uh, I guess, admit I was wrong. Or she said, she said something like, does that make sense? I said, um... No, it's not logical, but if you're asking me, do I understand what you're saying? I understood the words coming out of her mouth, but they had no logic at all. <laughs> so she got mad again. <laughs> but hey, you know what? This is one of those things. I've been wrong about stuff, but man, I think the way she bit my head off was way uncalled for. So we're not talking. So things have been quiet in uh, on Kong Island. Much quieter than usual. Um... Uh, I'm still, you know, I still watch the news and I still think, what the fuck? Oh, still, what's up, you know? And, um, but there's a little bit of optimism with Obama, you know, getting the nomination. Look, I'll admit, you know, and if you've been following Citizen Kong, I was a um, Edwards uh, backer in the beginning. And it was purely like, like game, game planning. Look, in my secret heart of hearts, I wanted Dennis Kucinich. That guy down the line fits everything that I believe in. Um, but the other part of me says, you know, hedge your bets, you know, figure out who's got the best chance of winning. And I still would say John Edwards looked like if he would have got the nomination overall in a national election, not just amongst the Democrats, that's what the primary is about, who the Democrats like. But John Edwards, I think, could have appealed to some Republican voters that are really, really sick of Bush and that can, then, then don't trust McCain. He might have won over some of those people. But Obama's her man, so I'm behind him all the way, you know, and things have got to get better, so I feel a little bit better about that. Um, one thing I got to say, I was going to save this for the end of the political rant, and here it is that beware. And I think Obama is probably, probably, he's going to surprise us that he'll be skilled at this, is, um, is, is, um, uh, dealing with the smear that's going to come against him. And there is a man who's, and some of you probably don't remember, but I remember when Michael Dukakis ran for president. 
The infamous Willie Horton ad, that was part of the Bush, Bush Seniors, George Herbert Walker Bush, uh, campaign against Michael Dukakis that he was soft on crime, and they, they, uh, the, the infamous Willie Horton ad. And the man behind that ad was a man named um, Floyd Brown, okay? And this man is, calls himself a Christian, but he's no real Christian. And um, they're getting ready to, he's already cooked up a few ads to go against Obama. And it's the same idea that Obama is uh, soft on crime. You know, it's not realistic, I mean, because, uh, because uh, crime is handled on a local city level and a state level. The, the President of the United States has very little to do with actual local crime, you know, like robberies and things like that. And, uh, and man, you know, what a nightmare for some of us if it was handed on a federal level. Imagine how all the right-wingers would feel about jackbooted thugs from the federal government patrolling our streets to stop crime. Hey, actually, some of them might like it. <laughs> those of, uh, the, many of those of us on the left would not like that. And I, I can bet you, bet you that libertarians would not like that. That's what they're always going on about. This is the government. Men that, with, that'll take away your freedom at gunpoint. Oh, God, it's such hyperbole. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm talking in circles. Yeah, I know. But Floyd Brown and the smear ca campaign against Obama, let's steal ourselves for that. You know, if you're interested, Google the, the uh, Google Willie Horton smear campaign and it'll start coming up. Apparently, there's somebody else out there named Floyd Brown. If you just if you just Google Floyd Brown, there's some musician or something that comes up too, so it can get confusing. Well, you know, a f -f 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 night. Yeah, you know, sometimes you're feeling it, and sometimes you're not. Some people said last Fez nights was really really good, so uh, I don't know. Maybe I should stick to the cheap beer. One, there was one dissenting voice that felt it was boring, but you know what? You or everybody else really liked it. Go figure. It's not like I plan it that way. All right. I hope all of you have a good week. And you know, it's not over. Fez Night is not over till Citizen Kong says, have a great week. This is Citizen Kong. Cheers. <laughs>